Hey beautiful people, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope the messages have kept you encouraged, motivated, and inspired to continue on your very own journey. Today's message is how to recover when life knocks you down. Please stay tuned. Whether you saw it coming or it came at you as a surprise, life can hurt you. You're left devastated. You are then left to grasp at whatever vulnerability that you have left and wonder to yourself, why did this happen to me? How did this happen? How am I going to manage this situation? Life serves us so many unfavorable and undesirable situations. Whether it be heartbreak, losses, illnesses, death, abandonment, or even the loss of our jobs. Even though we might experience similar hardships and situations, each hurt is different and more personal. No matter how many times you have heard persons who you know genuinely care about you say, I understand what you're going through. They don't because each hurt is more personal and different for each person. In order to support our healing process when life hurts us and knock us down, we must first acknowledge or honor the hurt. Far too often, we are of the belief that if we forget or ignore the pain that we're feeling, then it's no longer there, or it didn't happen. But that's a lie, and all we're doing is delaying our healing process. In order to start our healing process, we must first move away from the doorway of grief and hurt Acknowledge the pain that we are feeling to the best of our abilities and not run from it. Give yourself time to reflect and grieve. Time and patience will be a key factor in your recovery process. Reach out. I'm repeating, reach out. You will need time by yourself to deal with your pain, your hurt, your disappointment, and on your process of healing. But never stay by yourself for too long. Surround yourself with friends and family who will understand that you need space, but not enough, so that communication becomes non-existent. Stay connected to your friends and family they also form a part of your healing while hurting. Far too often when we're hurting, we don't see the need to take a break. We constantly focus on what hurt us, trying to figure out why it hurt us and why it happened. Sometimes we need to take a step back, take a break, and engage in healthy behaviors. Guess what? Everyone will not find relief in the same places. No, because we're different. So here are some healthy outlets that you can use while taking a break from your pain and your hurt. Take a walk. Try hiking. Try exercising. Didn't you say you like art? Why not dwell in that world? When was the last time you wrote something in that diary of yours? When was the last time you stopped to appreciate the music that has been playing in your mind? Stop and choose a positive escape into another reality, even if it's just for a few minutes. Take a break. Did you know 
that it is possible to learn something while you're hurting? Yes, you never stop learning. There is a lesson in everything. Your pain, your success, your joy, your happiness, and your sorrows. There is a lesson. But so often, we're so focused on the pain that the lesson missed us and we didn't realize. All we did was complain. Why did this have to happen? What did I do wrong? Why am I still here? What am I going to do? Take a moment to learn from your pain. Life will always challenge you. However, it is up to you to decide the lesson you learn from that challenge. Never forget that overcoming an emotional challenge makes you stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Move on. Yes, it's time for us to move on. Move on. Many times, we allow our pain and our suffering to define us. Yes. We allow our pain and our suffering to define us, to make people think that is who we are, convincing ourselves that this is who we are. We also allow it to shape us and rob us of a chance of happiness, to rob us of a chance of a new beginning. It is now time for us to move on. After we have grieved, we have mourned, it's now time for us to reach out for the help that we need. Make space for the recovery that we also need. It is now time for you to make a decision. Are you going to allow this emotional pain to keep you stuck where you are? Or are you going to use this pain to create a new path for yourself? Only you can answer that question. Sometimes what we feel becomes our identity. So here is a reminder. Your pain is not who you are. You are much bigger than the pain that you are currently feeling. You are much bigger than your pain or your hurt. We are now at the end of the video and I do hope that this message helps you to recover from whatever pain you might be experiencing. Please remember, you are bigger than your pain. You are much bigger than your situation. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, and leaving a comment. Please remember if you are new, Hit that subscribe button for more amazing content. Do have a blessed day. Stay blessed, be blessed, and be motivated on your journey. See you in the next video. Bye!